In this video, I'm gonna talk about whether or not you should lie as an adjuster, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, adjusters first. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Kaplik. Learn all about E&O and other insurance for adjusters at cplic.net slash adjuster TV. Hey, what's up? Matt here with Adjuster TV. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about whether or not you should lie to a homeowner or to anybody else as an independent adjuster. And here is what I mean, because I know, I know that there are people that are typing right now saying, well, that's just, that's what you signed up for because you're an adjuster and that's if adjusters lie, right? You're a criminal is basically what you're saying. It's not what I'm saying. First of all, let me answer the question. Should you lie as an adjuster? And the answer is absolutely no, you don't, don't lie, right? Especially if you're talking about claims, insured says, well, you know, what about my roof? Is it damaged? And if you're like, well, it, it totally is. And then in your mind, and then you tell the insured, no, it's not damaged. That's a lie. And you should be paying for that roof. Straight up, period. End of, end of story. Uh, do not pass, go. If it's damaged, pay for it if you can, if the policy will allow you to, right? And if the policy won't allow you to, don't lie about why you can't pay for it. Tell them the truth, why the policy is denying this, right? And if you gotta crack open a policy and cite the page and the, the, the letter and the number and everything, do it, right? That's not the kind of lying I'm talking about. Um, what I mean to say is, is that if the, the and I'm not telling you, if, so how am I gonna say this? Some people will say that if you, if you don't tell the truth in any situation, then that's the same as lying. And I disagree with that. And here's, here's what I mean. So say you have a situation where you are, you've just finished looking at the homeowner's house, right? And you've got, you went back to your truck and you wrote it up and now you're gonna sit down in their living room and go over the estimate with them, right? And they have on their TV full blast Fox News, right? Sean Hannity's on there, or it's MSNBC, right? Rachel Maddow is on there saying something, no matter what, and you disagree with it, right? I don't know, I, should I just be honest and just like say out loud to this perfect stranger, those people are full of crap. I don't, you know, can you believe that they're saying, they're watching this and if you disagree with it, it's you're gonna probably disagree with them, right? Should you just be honest in that situation? Well, I, you know, I, it's my opinion, and I, you know, I was always told my whole life that I got to be honest about everything. And if it's if if it's what I think in my brain, it needs to come out of my mouth, right? Should you do that? The answer is no, right? Is that going to help you explain the, the insured getting a new roof as a representative of an insurance company, right? If you start babbling about politics, okay. Up to you, I'm gonna tell you never, never, even if you agree with what they say on TV and the person is like, they have pictures of, of pick a political person all over the place and you love that person, right? I still would keep my mouth closed about it. It's not, it's not relevant to the claim. Another situation that I can think of is getting goaded into an argument with a contractor or uh, like a restoration construction salesperson or a canvasser right, who will try to drag you into a philosophical debate about whether, you know, why you should be paying for rich cap and starter and whatever, right, um, when you just can't, right? If you start to, to have a conversation with that person and it turns into a, to, to some kind of a debate, then you are veering away from the whole point of you being there. It's not to have philosophical conversations with this person and to argue with them, right? The point of you being there is to assess whatever damage that they have and according to their coverages and according to the estimating guidelines to pay the absolute extent, the most that you can reasonably pay to get them back to their pre-loss condition. Technically, not saying what you're thinking is lying maybe? I don't know. I don't think that, I don't think that's the case. The point is, you no, know, absolutely you should not lie. But you shouldn't also be completely blatantly honest about everything either. It's, it's, it's just a lose-lose if you try to do that. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.